Fairy Bear, Chapter 3, Act 6, Destined Encounter. Masrur at Port Ormos is currently worrying himself sick over a letter with an unclear address. Let's get going. Dude, Samira's just so beautiful. Huh? It's so pretty. Wait, you're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Oh, you must have heard of me. Oh, do you want to know my many titles? Well, let me tell you. We are the Honorary Knight of Favonius. We are the First Sage of Buer. We um, are the crime solvers, the crime stoppers over from Leeway. And uh, we took down Shogun. Yes, I am. I'm pretty recognizable. Who's asking? Do you need something from us? Somebody always needs something from us, Paimon. Haven't you figured that out yet? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. What? Another Outlander? A letter, you say? From another Outlander. Are you talking about my sister? He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. <laughs> Sounds like Amazon. <laughs> he, though, he. Well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. He's talking about Dane? So, um, what address did that person give you anyway? Uh... He just wrote, <clears throat> next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. <laughs> she is a fairy. What? So the address is Paimon? <laughs> Paimon's got her own P.O. box. Yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Really, he got me good. Uh, I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Okay, okay. Let me see the letter. Let me see the letter. I'm really curious who could have sent it. Yeah, who's it from? Of course. Here it is. All yours. Come on. Paimon wants to have a look, too. What does it say? It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumeru. And I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by Jafar Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If luck's on my side and this letter successfully reaches you, come to me then and we can catch up on old times. We'll see it as a faded encounter. Your trusty buddy. Oh, it's from Kaya? Bro, dude, we got to go see the, the cryo pirate boy. How are you doing, Kaya? We got to go hang out with him. Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. What's he doing all the way out here? Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. I'd have called him a pirate, but whatever. Yeah, I can't say I'm hugely surprised. This is definitely Kaya's style. From what he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. He's always sneaky. <sighs> Do you think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Very scheming indeed. Well, no harm done. It'll be nice to catch up with him. It will be. We have a lot to talk about. Friends. Yes. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Yeah, let's go have a drink with Kaya. I could use a drink. Carrie Bear, Chapter 3, Act 6. Okay, here we go. Kaya! I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. There's the stud muffin. How have you been? It's so good to see you. What's up, bro? Uh... Sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Oh, Kaya's hammered. Oh? Well then, just the bill, please. That's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Wait, wait! Buy us a drink first! Buy us a drink first! Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Can you buy us a drink? I'm thirsty. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now, I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> it's weird seeing him all the way out here. I wonder what he's doing out here. Like, Monstant to Sumeru isn't a, you know, just a little hop, skip it, and jump. That's a long way to go. If you say so, we've missed you too. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? 
You know he is. What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Jean? Maybe he's on vacation, Paimon. Why are you being so judgmental? <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Yeah, very believable, because I wouldn't want to displease her at all. You terrified? I don't buy it. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little bit too arrogant to be terrified about anything. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Okay. Sumeru's spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. Was it by Diona? Diona? Did Diona invent it? That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. I figured Barbados would be here. You know what I mean? Venti? But I don't see him. And? How did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential collaboration. Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Yeah. Yes, Don Winery and Master D. Luke are going to make a tidy sum from this one too, huh? Yeah, they are. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not, depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> well, that's just rude. Why wouldn't you want to help Don Winery and D. Luke? Hey, using your job to settle personal grievances isn't very nightly, Captain. <laughs> I'm not just straight up yelling at him. I'm guessing you've been to Samaru before. Oh, what makes you say that? You came to Samaru all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Oh, that's true. He had a lot of knowledge of what was going on. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. Hmm. Hmm, what's that for? And? Do continue. What happened? <laughs> Do I have to? Yes. When I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry about it. You don't have to go into great detail. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. Don Winery had only just taken me in. Very young. Don Winery had only taken me in. Just taken me in. I overheard my adoptive father talk about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. Oh, that's right. Wait, didn't we learn that Kaya is from Conria? We learned that, right? I know. I've heard that somewhere, that he is from Conria. We learned that. So Don Winery took him in. So I get it. So he's adopted from Conria. And my question is, how did he get to Don Winery from, from Conria? Like, who, who brought him? Who, who, how did he get there? I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria. Right. Which is said to have been located deep underground, somewhere near Sumeru. Whoa, 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 whoa. So Conria is like somewhere under Sumeru or near Sumeru? Where? Conria. And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. Okay. But it wasn't long before the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. Okay. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> Speaking of Conria, how much do you know about it? Yes, tell me all you know. Honestly, not much. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. There's Dane! There's the stud muffin! You eavesdropper! You're eavesdropping! Dane's here! Everybody, say hello to Dane! There he is. And wherever you go, there's trouble that follows. My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up. And so I started caring less as well. And that's fair. I can understand that. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to keep me alive. Ooh. 
as well as ensuring that I'd be safely cut off from certain things. What things? The thought that I might be able to actually live a happy life there must have been the icing on the cake. Wait, 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 what things? What things? This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the know on this topic. Oh, dang, man. These days, my surname, Albrecht, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. Albrecht? Albrecht? Is that how you pronounce it? One death afternoon, please, boss. Hey, Dane's gonna have a drink with us. Drink is on me there, Dane. Okay, it's on me. One death afternoon, please. I, I like the name of that drink. I, what's in it? I'll make it at the bar. Tell me, what do you know about the significance of that name, Albury? Dane's death? Yeah, yeah. Do you not see him, Paimon? He's, he's sitting right next to us. Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Danesliff, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, are we going to get a fight between Kaya and, and Danes? And Dane? Oh my god. That would be something I'd really want to see. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted. Kaya Albury. Descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. What? Wait, 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 wait. Kaya's a descendant from the person that founded the Abyss? Wait, what? What if Kaya is the, the, the one? What if Kaya is like the leader of the Abyss Order? He's just, he's just keeping it on the DL, on the down low. Huh? What? The Abyss Order? Yes. What? Yes. I know, Paimon. That's what I said. I know. What do you have to say for yourself, Kaya? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. Oh, he or didn't you know. You've been so forthcoming with your surname. He didn't know. How do you know? Oh my, that's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. Ooh. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. Well, I don't think you have any reason to lie, Dane. I, I really, really don't. Well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. Recognize your eyes. Yeah, y'all's eyes are different. You're a pure-blood Conrian, aren't you? Ooh. Ooh. Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. Yeah, probably a good idea. Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? No, I don't I don't think he is. He just does he didn't know. He did I guess he doesn't know, but he doesn't sound very shocked. Do you know what I mean? Like, think of it like this. If I found out that like my dad was like a mafia boss or something like that, I would be like, whoa. Time out. Hold on. Do you know what I mean? Kai is like, hmm, interesting. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't sound very shocked. Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. Look, we're just asking questions. We just want to know. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? Well, no. It's like the Eula story, you know? Eula's past, you know, everybody hates her because of her past, but, you know, you shouldn't judge people based on their past. But... You are sneaky, and I want to know more about you. Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Okay, good. I trust you, Kaya. I think. I guess. Can't trust anybody in this game. If, 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 if there's one thing that I have learned in this game is that you cannot trust a soul. You can't trust a single person. I think. I guess. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. See, he wants to leave. He's hiding something. Kai is hiding something. Uh, well, all right then. You go do your thing, Kaya. 
he wants to get out of this conversation quick. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. We need a Kaya Dainsleaf 1v1. <laughs> you don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. Yeah, yeah. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. So you said that an Albrick founded the Abyss Order. I thought my sibling was the founder. Yeah, she's the princess, right? But what if she didn't find it? Somebody appointed her princess. Well, I suspect that they call your sister their princess precisely because there is a succession of sorts. Then who is the king? Oh, so if she was the founder, she'd be the queen, right? Right. So what are you planning to do here in Sumeru? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? Sounds familiar? Did we hear about that in a previous Dane's quest? Yes, I kind of remember that name. Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan. Yes. We learned about that back in Mondstadt. The long time ago. You've got a new lead on it? Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion. But while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Ooh, what'd you remember? Your sister. She mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. Ooh, all the way back then? So that was a, already a thing several centuries ago. Apparently so. What? I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. Okay. So you're going to the place that she mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Oh, let's go there! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's yeah! Go. Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! Yeah, 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 let's go! Oh, God, yeah, yeah! No. Now is not the time. Why not? Why not? How is it not the time? Look, you can stay here if you want to and drink to your heart's content, but we're going to go. What are we waiting on? For what? Why? Now. I want to go now. I make the rules. Well, Paimon actually makes the rules, but you know what I'm saying. Are you concerned about the abyss order? Are we waiting for the per perfect moment? Like, wh 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 why are we hesitating? No, it's just. What? I'm still waiting for my drink. Take it to go. Okay. Yeah, what? I can't believe this dude. Can't believe you. After Dane finishes his drink, you prepare. Okay, now we're off. Go to the place Dane's lift mentioned. Ooh. Look how he walks. Wait. This place, it's familiar. He struts. Dane's leaf struts. He doesn't walk. He He's got that staying alive from the Bee Gees kind of vibe. You know what I mean? He walks like a stun muffin. What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago too? Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here after all. Yeah, true. Hilly trails everywhere though. Let's search the area and see what we can find. Okay, let's go. I don't know what we're looking for. Is this? A field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. Ooh, who's that? But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. Okay. Are we going to plant some carrots? It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. Only you can prevent forest fires. Just remember that. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Okay, let's go see what's in the building. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? Why not? What if someone's home? 
That hasn't stopped us before. Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. Aren't you like sweating your butt off? I bet you have like, you know, swamp butt wearing this outfit all the time. I mean, black sucks in the heat and the, and the sun. So I can only imagine that you are just like having heat stroke like every day. If you say so, well, uh, you lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> yeah, you first. Knock, knock. Huh. So there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> are you okay? Ugh, this place is so dusty. Paimon bets no one's lived here in years. So we're gonna like steal their stuff? Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. Man, we're being we're being really creepy. This looks like some looks like somebody does live here. Okay, maybe they're just on vacation. We don't know. This might be their summer home. Hey, look! It's a bowl. It's a bowl. I guess whoever used to live here liked to cook, huh? Yeah. Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. What are we smelling? Zaza. Is it good, Zaza? Are we gonna be on the Zaza again? Oh, so it's a medicine ball? Hmm. Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. Yeah, he does. More Zaza. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. No thanks. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. Yeah, no thanks. No, no, we're not opening Pandora's box, okay? What in the world is going through your head? Sure, going places with your paranoia. The traveler calling out Paimon. What's in the box? What's in huh? the box? This is a mirror. It's broken. It's broken, too. Was this a makeup box? I don't know. It's a broken mirror. It's just a regular mirror. It's just broken. Kinda of disappointing. Paimon was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Especially after Dane talked this place up. I know, Dane. Disappointed. I'm disappointed. We're disappointed. This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. Somebody hiding under the bed? What sort of person would want to live here? Me? It's so dark and damp. I wouldn't mind. I be all that comfortable. No, I would. I wouldn't mind. I like the little. I would love to own myself like a little mini house. You know what I mean? Like one of those tiny houses. I think those are really cool. Doesn't look like there's anything else worth our attention here. You sure we're in the right place, Dane? We just came here to rob the place. My memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Ooh. Let's go and check. Ooh. What's outside? Noises? Is it? Is it who? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Who? 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 Who's outside? Check out the situation outside. Why are we taking this outside? Wow. Don't worry, we'll take care of this. Anyway, let's like, let's go. Easy peasy, no problem with the auto. No problem. I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. Ooh. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. Okay. I'll go slightly further out to investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. Okay. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. Why can't we come with? Why can't we come with? What if you find something else? What? You're going alone? Yeah. You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. I think he is. I think he is. I think he's hiding a lot. I think he's hiding a lot. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. Mm. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. And you want us to do that? 
Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. I want to go with. I want to see you in action. Oh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. I mean, it's a nice little house. I, like I said, I wouldn't mind living in it. Good thing there's a bonfire over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. When are you not hungry? I'm still a bit sick at the moment. Okay, hold on. You and Paimon make a fire, and before you know it, night sets in. Are we sleepy? We're tired. <sighs> Your cooking is as good as ever. You're welcome. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Freeloading comes more naturally to you than most. You're easy to please. She's a freeloader. Changing the subject. Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? We don't know. <sighs> we came together, but now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know... Now that Paima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? Yeah, you're my bestie, okay? Um, so, don't take this the wrong way or anything, but, uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Pfft, okay, like, pfft, I, I feel like you can't. Uh, uh, no, Paimon. No, and yes, I don't know. Everybody needs their space every once in a while, okay? I'm just saying. Everybody needs their, like, their own time every now and then. But no. No, I'm not tired of you, you know, being around. You make my day every day, Paimon. Not really. You're better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to say that to Paimon. I'll be nice to her because she seems in this moment kind of sincere. But I still think, look at this face, though. It's very sussy. She's got a sussy face. Her face is sussy. Oh, you stop it. Now you're embarrassing, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So, um, next question. Okay. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but okay. Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your sister? Oh, that's a great question, Paimon. Are we... We don't know, though. We don't have any memories, right? We don't remember that. The uh, stars? Stars. We'd gaze at the stars just like this, and we'd point at the planets we wanted to visit. Wow. That's interesting. We traveled through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw all manner of hope and despair. Can you tell us about some of the planets that you saw? Traveler, that's what I want to know. This is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Yeah. Paimon understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. Right. But we'll find the truth together. I hope so. Paimon's so. your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, to that. We're just yelling at the Heavenly Principles? Just just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, to that. About this sad stuff. Let's talk about something happy instead. Okay. If you're sad, Paimon will be too. Thank you, Paimon. All right, all right. It's getting dark, so why don't you rest? Paimon will take first watch. Don't worry, no monster's gonna come and eat you up. Are you gonna take him on? No. You're gonna come and yell for me, is what you're gonna do. Well, that's a first. Paimon not going to bed before me. Oh, come on. Don't say that. Why? Paimon Mm, what if she sneaks off? What if she does this thing where we fall asleep and she's like, she's checking to make sure Traveler's asleep and then she sneaks off to like give info to somebody? We don't know. What if she's doing that? I mean, there's points where we haven't seen Paimon next to Traveler. So what if she's like a spy? Good night then, Paimon. See, why are you in such a rush? Why are you in such a hurry for me to go to sleep? Huh? Memories of your sibling fill your mind as you fall soundly asleep. Hey. 
time to wake up. All right. The sun has risen. Okay. Sun has risen. What'd you find out? How was the ley line stuff? Where's Paimon? She's not here screaming in my face. I'm shocked. Where's Paimon? Where is she? What's up, you stun muffin? Wouldn't mind waking up to that face every morning. Dane? What a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Need to what? Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Did we? All right. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Okay. Why is it Paimon here screaming at my face? Why are you going back into the forest? Yeah, why? <sighs> We're wank. We're good. Stretch it out. Where's Paimon? Where's Paimon? She's not there. She's not there. See what I'm saying? She's not there. Where is Paimon? Ah, I vaguely remember Dane coming over. Did Paimon go into the woods with him, seeing how I hadn't woken up yet? No, that would not be something Paimon would do. Paimon would not leave us. Whatever the case, just looks like it's just me here for now. Did I even say that right? Whatever the case, looks like it's just me here for now. Guess it's time to stretch my limbs and have a look around. Is that Paimon clattering around? Wait, did that noise come from inside the house? Paimon, is that you? Paimon, this isn't the time for hide and seek. She would never play hide and seek with us. She'd be screaming in our face. No reply. I should go inside and check. Where the hell is Paimon? What's in the house? Paimon, are you in here? Oh. Who's that? Who are you? What do you think you're doing? Nothing. You startled me. Who are you, intimidating man? You startled me. This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. Be gone. Why? Why are you dressed up like that? Calm down, bro. I'm only here to look for my traveling companion. You've seen her? She's, she floats and she has wings and she's got like white gray hair. And um, she's, I don't know, annoying. Your travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. That one. What'd you do with her? Did you eat her? She's my emergency food, not yours, okay? We're the only ones that are allowed to eat her, not you. Why are your eyes... <gasps> I just noticed his eyes. He's got Dainsley Vines. He's got Dainsley Vines. He's from Con... This guy's from Conria. Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. <laughs> That much I saw with my own eyes. You are from Conria. I thought so. Still, I don't know if I could trust the person of the words just yet. Have you, kid, traveler? Do you not notice his weird-looking eyes? So you mean to say that you were nearby last what night? What business is that of yours? Hmm? All you need to know is that I claimed this place first. We were here and first. What I do here is none of your concern. We were here first. Okay. Don't, you don't want to go 1v1 with me. Do you know who I am? Obviously, you don't. Do I make myself quite clear? Leave. Well, I don't have Paimon to tell her to punch him in the face, but... What do we do? There's something strange about this person. I need to find out what he's hiding. He's from Conry. His eyes. He's got the same eyes as Kaya and the same eyes as Dane's leave. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't think I'll have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. The <laughs> eyes give him away. You're from Conria. Is that what you guys wear down there? I've been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger, nor someone from the academia. No, we're not. Still, I'm warning you. No funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. I'm not a villain, okay? Nor will I pretend to be a saint. Okay, we ride the fence here. We've done some bad things, but we've also done a lot of great things, too. Okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. I'm heading in. Can I join you? I was out here all night. I'm cold. Can we start a fire? Get some soup? You... 
<laughs> Why are you so angry? Oh, go on then. Jeez. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. This guy needs some Zaza. But no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna tell him that we've already been in there rummaging around, so it's okay. Relax, I've been around. It takes a lot to phase me. Got it. Come on then. Okay. Man, this guy needs he needs a drink. What are we doing? Why is there hilly chill in here? Dude, what are you doing? What's going on? Why where did you come from? What? A hilly troll? Why do you keep a hilly troll home? Is it like a pet? Mind your own business. And don't worry. He isn't aggressive. <laughs> okay. How could he be? He was too young for anything like that. What are we doing with him? So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest if you're tired cold okay you're from conria aren't you finally we're asking he is huh how did he get here you know conria who are you exactly and how do you know i'm from conria i can tell from your eyes i'm just a traveler i met others from conria your clothes your eyes the eyes the eyes is what got me <sighs> yes do you Worship a god, traveler. I follow no god. In fact, I count some of them as my foes. I follow no god, though I count some of them as my friends. Hmm. Uh, friends. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> yes, very. <laughs> All right. Well, um, my name is Ida. Ida? And you are correct. I was once Conrian. How did you get here, Ida? Uh, oh, I, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct. Okay. And all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. That sounds a little bit too black and white. Not very gray. Spoken like a true Conrian. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the cataclysm. Ooh, what can you tell me about that? This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. Wait! So we're mortal? Did we learn this before? What is the curse of immortality exactly? I take it that's how you've survived for so long. Are we vampires? The curse. <laughs> it was a little gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. Ooh. We lost our home, our loved ones. Everything. The agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear, but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release. Ooh, okay. All we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay. That's sad. I don't know if I'd want to be immortal. I'm not going to lie. So Ida is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So why did some people turn into hilly churls? Why were you afflicted by this curse instead? While you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. Okay. When the cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse. 
of immortality. Wait, 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 wait. When you say pure blood Conrians, you mean just people from Conria? There wasn't like some weird, like Game of Thrones, Daenerys, Targaryen thing happening. Do you know what I'm saying? If you watch Game of Thrones, you know what I mean? Like siblings and, you know, that sort of thing going on. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Gotcha. So who is this hilly troll to you? He is Kari Bear, my illegitimate son. Kari Bear, illegitimate son. Whoa. What? <sighs> How times have changed. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but... Oh, it was once a matter of unspeakable shame. Whoa! I was a noble of Conria, by blood. But I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. Okay. Then, one day... I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. <laughs> oh, who was that? Now I want to know who that was. Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires, and, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. After all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. What happened to his mom? What happened to his mom? Is she a hilly troll too? She was. She'd have to be, right? We were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. I'm sorry. I know this must cause you great pain. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> Man, I, this guy is kind of scary. And now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else... At least I still have Curry Bear. Okay. But do, though. It's a hilly churl. What are you planning to do now? What are you? What were you planning to do around here? Ah, oh, yeah, yes. I, that reminds me. I, I only returned here to check on Curry Bear, but I do have other things I wish to do. You may come with me. If, yeah, yeah. If you're, uh, so yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 I want to go with, I want to go with, wherever you're going, yes, I want to learn more. Over here. Okay. What am I looking at? A crafting bench. What are you going to use this for? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Kari Bear here <coughs> to Sumeru. Excuse me. Yes, I am wondering. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. Okay. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Clarity of mind? When we were in the chasm, Dane said that the curse could not be undone. Right. I remember that. Is recovery really possible? Well, if Dane says it can't be done, then I would say no. I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. Okay. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. Ooh. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. Ooh, we need to call up Nahida and see if this is actually a thing. I believe that it might just work. Where did you hear this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> From the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Since this medicine requires the power of the seven to work. Power of the seven. Power of the seven. What do you mean, power of the seven? In my youth, I, 
I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. You know, there must have been a reason it was banned. It sounds dangerous. <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do? Huh? Calm down. Two seconds. Like, you're, 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 at, you're here. I need you to be here, bro. Okay. The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? All right, don't get too worked up. I understand. No matter what, you have to try. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. I, I'm sorry. I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. You think? Perhaps a consequence of having lived too long. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, I'd say, <laughs> you, you've, yeah, you've, yeah, you've lost a plot, as they say over in the UK. As it happens. I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. Okay. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, oh, thanks to this curse of immortality. Yeah, that would not be fun. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. What is it? It's pretty. What do you want me to do with it? Eat it? What am I doing with it? A mushroom. I've never seen a mushroom of this kind before. It's pretty. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. I know I have roses. The lotuses, I don't know. No, but I can go get out and get some. Could I might already really? have some. Oh, much obliged. Okay. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Hmm. All right. All right, I got your stuff, dude. Here we go. We're going to craft one. Kuki's going to craft it. Now, do we take the red pill or the blue pill and see how far the rabbit hole goes? Ida, I have your thing. Is it done? It is. Oh, splendid. Let me see. Okay. There it is. Are you going to eat it? What do you want me to, What do we do? In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the banned book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> do you still have this book? Can I read it? Well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Cur what? Are you? What? Excuse me? Is it time to give Carrie Bear the medicine? No, no. We need to perform one final step to complete the medicine. And what is that? I said before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. <laughs> Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Okay. That can't be easy for someone for Con from Conria. I understand your reluctance. We're right, because you hate... The Archons, right? Do you hate the Archons? I understand your reluctance. That's, yeah. Since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get Nahida to help? But we don't, would Nahida help? We don't know if Nahida would help though, right? Forget it. Ida hates the gods. It could complicate things. I'll just do, his, do it his way. Yeah, if we brought Nahida along, he might go absolutely crazy. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. Okay. All right, we're here. Oh, this statue. How can I bow before this thing? Easily, you just do this. It's been really helpful for me. God of wisdom, look at me. I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. He's basically yelling at Nahida. I don't like it. You don't yell at little baby cabbage. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he, here I stand before you. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Humbling, right? You, you cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. God of wisdom, 
I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. I don't think Nahida has the power to turn Hilly Charles back into human, right? My son, Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. This is no fate for a child. It is sad. If everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I bow to you now. Ooh. I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Please, God. I beg of you. Is she listening? Is she listening? I may not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Conria have truly suffered. They really have, man immortality curse and turned into hilly churls craziness why would conry and the seven co not coexist in peace that's kind of what i want to know too like what happened in conria that made basically like celestia want to destroy conria like that's like another big question i want to learn what happened was it the abyss order it had to have been like the abyss order was founded started to develop Celestia saw it happening and said, not today, Satan, and basically destroyed it. So that's what I'm guessing is kind of what happened. Is the Abyss Order started and Celestia said, nope, not on my watch. I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. Okay, things will get better, I promise, bro. <laughs> it's okay. All right, hold on. Let's see what Traveler does here. If I go outside the bounds. I shouldn't stray too far. Dane and Paimon still aren't back. Ooh! We got to hear Traveler's voice. He talks. If you try to go outside of the bounds in this story. Wow! I'm surprised. Okay. All right, here, Carrie Bear. I have your medicine. Bear? Yes. What's gonna happen when we give it to him? That what if what if it doesn't what if it makes him like crazy and insane and becomes the Hulk or something? And then we have to kill him anyway. The hilly troll seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. Well, we've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. I don't know, man. With your help, Ida feeds the newly made medicine to the hilly troll. Cory Bear, it's me. It's your father, Kari Bear. Anything, bro? I don't like this. Kari Bear, please say something. I don't like where this is going. Kari Bear? I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. This is sad. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? What is going on? I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. Please say something, anything. This guy is struggling, okay? Nahida didn't talk to him. We are mute. And Kari Bear can't say nothing. Like, this guy, this guy is like... Struggling hard. Please. Please. Ida, stop. It didn't work, man. I feel kind of bad for this guy, even though he's crazy. Oh, God, he's raging. Oh, no. Oh, God's above. What more do you want from me? Oh, this is bad. He's yelling at the gods. You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. Oh, he's man. He's angry. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. 
but you won't even let me die. That's sad. <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the guards. I was <laughs> just eluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Calm down, Ida. There might be other reasons it didn't work. Chill out. Maybe they're busy. Uh, other reasons? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're just busy. Maybe they're out on errands. We don't know. Such as, who knows, perhaps the dosage was too low, or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? You have to exhaust all options unless you are ready to give up on Carrie Bear. Give up? No, no, n never. And yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. So what are you going to do now? Even if I must stay here with him for 50 years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. That's the spirit. I'll keep helping you. Even though I don't know what is going on, I could try. To have infinite time yet no hope can only be called torture. Yeah, that I wouldn't want to. No, that would not be fun. That would not be a good time. Hmm. Let's go. We'll make another dose. Okay, I gotta go pick more flowers, mushrooms. The most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which mm -hmm. makes things complicated, but not impossible. Where did you get it from? I grow them <laughs> in that field <laughs> oh in the in, in the field like a crop the details don't matter right <laughs> curb your curiosity and just do as i instruct <laughs> if you truly wish to help me that is how you can do it that's interesting where's the rest of them then how many times have you done this all right ida fine there is a waterfall near the statue i prayed at I need you to collect some water from there around uh, two in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, does time make a difference? It's water. I'll be here watching Curry Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. You mean you're going to take some Duke Dukes, right? That's where you're going to get your fertilizer from? He's got to do a few Duke Dukes. Good. <laughs> then and please head over. <laughs> when? The time comes. Sounds good. Will do. Time passes quickly before you know it. It's two in the afternoon. All right, we're going to draw this water, and we're going to go back and give Ida the water. Ah, oh, you're back. Yes. Uh, Cara Bear's condition is stable. Awesome. Did you take your little poops? By which I mean he still isn't responding. Anyway, give me the water. Here you go. Here's your bucket. We're going to plant some mushrooms. It's going to take forever. Carefully waters this field. It's going to take forever for these mushrooms I to need grow. You to stand guard here for a while. I still want to Whatever know what happened to do, Paimon. Don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Sure thing. No worries. Your secret is safe with me. Don't worry. Where is Paimon? Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. Yeah, yeah. Go poop. Go take your duke duke. You wait in the field for Ida to return. After a while... What is this? Monsters and so many of them looks like they're coming for this field. I can't take them on by myself. Where's the, where's the rest of my peeps at? Does watering the field somehow attract monsters? Better fend them off. Maybe it's the mushrooms that are attracting the monsters. Am I by myself or do I have my... Oh no, I have my cast of characters. Okay, good. Go away, go away, go away. No problems. Easy peasy. What happened? Was it monsters? No problem. Yes, it was monsters, Ida. Oh, thank goodness you were here. I yeah, you're welcome. Couldn't have taken them on all by myself. Mm -hmm. I have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh yes, uh, I've got the fertilizer. Cool. The effects can take some time to kick in, so let's get on with it. All right, let's fertilize this fear. F fear field. Ida spreads the fertilizer even before long the elemental energy within starts Next, to take effect. Where do you get this fertilizer from? Keep the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. I guess I still remember the method. Hmm. All right, here you go. The medicine is ready. Hey, stop daydreaming. What are you daydreaming about, bro? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, after 
Resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. Okay. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. But though the curse denies you even this, you still have Carrie Bear. Well, what would happen if we, if, if, okay, if we decided to assist him in his death do you know what i'm trying to say without saying it like does that count would do, would he still be alive does he just walk around with a bunch of holes in him do you know what i'm saying does, is that a thing can you do that but though the curse denies you even this you still have carry bear <laughs> i do indeed that's why it was just a f fleeting thought thank you for your help once again and now for the final step back to the statue of the seven why so you can yell at little baby cabbage again we're here all right here we are let's begin what with your yelling again there's a hilly churl wait a moment hey what was that Cory bear wait what why did he leave the house he left the house how do we know it's him oh no he must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. How do we know it's him? Come on, we have to catch up with him. Okay, Carry Bear, where are you going, bro? Carry Bear, Carry Bear, Carry Bear, where are, you, where, where are you heading to? Okay, we've chased down the hill, Cheryl. Where are you going, bro? Come that's, back. That's not Carry Bear. See, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So Car Car Bear is back over at the house. No, it's not. There's no silk scarf around his arm. Oh, right. And Car Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. Okay. My my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> this decrepit body of mine. Well, they all look similar. Still, this hilly churl, there's something strange about it. Ah, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? Let's go have a look. Wait, is it going back to the um, city that's in the chasm, right? Like, right to get relief from the curse. From the uh, the previous, um, the other, the other Dane's Leaf quest that we did. It's going back into the chasm because there's an upside down city that relieves, like gives them some kind of relief from the curse, right? Does it cure the curse? It just gives them some relief. Let's go have a look. Yes. <laughs> the more we know about Healy Churls, the better. Okay. Gotcha. I don't think I want to go in here. Unknown sanctuary? What is happening right now? Here we are. In the chasm. Oh, what a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Look, what are those hilly churls doing? I don't see no hilly churls. What? Huh. It looks like they're uh, worshipping. <laughs> sometimes uh, walking, sometimes kneeling in worship, and, and it appears to be in earnest. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, there's only one way to find out. The air here in this creepy scene, it's eerily familiar. Yeah, from the, the, the quest that we did in the chasm, you know, way back. What in the world? Oh, it's a black hole. Is this the abyss? Hmm. Is this a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? Ooh, Traveler's actually talking? What? There's so much going on. Hello? Hi. What are we... Okay. Really? Another black hole? 
This looks like the abyss, like the thing that's on Dane's outfit. This place is so creepy. This isn't, no, this isn't Conria, is it? Halt, humans. Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. Is this an abyss, Harold? No. No. I haven't seen one of you in a long time, and I don't want to see you now. I did not miss you. Or a lector. I don't want to deal with these idiots, man. No. An Abyss Herald? No, he doesn't look like someone from the Abyss Order. Oh, he's not. Do you insist on an audience? Who are you? Very well. And I grant you the trial of destiny. I don't want no trials. I don't want no trials. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're guests. We just got here, dude. We just literally got here, and you're gonna. What? No! Oh, dear, sweet lord. Hold on! Fortune Lector? Fortune Lector. Dude. Hold on, everybody. Two seconds. This is not gonna be an issue. No problem. Get out of the game. No, now you're doing the whole shield garbage thing. I hate that. Ow, that kind of hurt. Move! Cascade. No, you're not gonna hit me. No. Nope. Okay, you did hit me. You did. It's okay. We're good. Scatter. Just trying to pay attention. A little bit. Get out of my game, you stupid fortune lector. What kind of name is fortune lector anyway? What does that even mean? Propagate. Spring forth. Oh, come on, man. Escape. I need more. I want more stam. I want more stam. I need. I want. I want a bigger bar. I want a bigger bar of stam. Teamwork is dreamwork. Get out of my game. Your trial ain't nothing. He was. He was. Your trial ain't nothing, bro. Okay. Ain't nothing gonna stop me in this game. Can't stop me. Terrifying. He was terrifying. I've seen similar characters before, but they were Abyss Heralds. He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. Bro, he literally just tried to kill me. I've been helping you this whole time. Perfect being? What? What? He had the most Are you insane? Aura, a perilous yet beautiful power. Oh, truly mesmerizing. This guy's nuts. And yet, you I were am. able to defeat him. I was. You're welcome. Your strength is greater than I had imagined. <laughs> you... Oh, man. You have unconventional taste. I just have lots of combat experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and more excited. <laughs> what a nut job. Dude, these doors are really kind of creepy. What is this? What is this? What is going on in here? This reminds me of, um, oh, um, this reminds me of the first things quest. This reminds me of the first things quest with the upside down, uh, statue of the seven in the one, uh, the one place we were at, that one domain we were in and we saw our sister and Dane was there and all of that stuff. It's got like the same kind of color or the same kind of vibe type thing. I think we've made it to the end what is that thing even though it kind of looks familiar like the statue of the seven that we saw wrapped in chains hanging in midair emanating a sinister aura there's no mistaking it it's just like the defiled statue that's what i said the statue that was in the other place at that one point that we saw see 
I'm smart. So it does have something to do with the Abyss Order, and these worshipping hill churls remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. Yeah, that guy. I remember him. He was dead. I know this place is bad news. We've got to go. This place is bad news. Very, 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 very bad. <sighs> Ida. Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? Or for a power that you covet? Hello? What? Hi. You? Is it the purple thing talking to me? Whose voice is that? It must be coming from inside my head. Can't Ida hear it? Can he not? Oh, dear creature. Why, Why do you call me creature? Down? For I am no god. I am but a sinner. A sinner? Wait, is he he's talking to he's talking to Ida back here or it is talking to Ida back here, right? No god, but I'm a sinner. A sinner? You are like a flower. Born in sin, yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. I can't tell who it's talking to. Is it talking to me or is it talking to Ida back there? You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. Go forth, become a transcendent one. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. I don't know what the fate is, though. Do you know? And I shall shed a tear at the end of time as I gaze back upon your life. What? Who in the world are you? What do those words mean? Exactly. You gotta talk to me like I'm like I'm six years old. Okay. You gotta explain things to me like I'm six. Simplify it. Dumb it down for me. Nothing. The voice, it's gone. Who, whose voice is that? What did it want? Oh my God, more riddles? Why can't somebody give me a straightforward answer? What are you doing to Ida? Ida, are you okay? What are you doing to Ida? What just happened? I, I don't know. What is going on? When I saw that thing, my, my heart was, Instantly at peace, I, I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. You are a psychopath. Are you okay, though? He's not okay. I am. I feel good. In fact, I, I, I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. Uh, okay something's not right we gotta get out of here but i'm afraid you're not gonna want to leave i have a feeling he's not gonna want to leave oh uh is that so oh all right as you wish okay did you not forget you've completely forgot about carry bear are we leaving you leave the ominous cave and return to Ida's house what just happened down there Cory Bear, oh, thank goodness, he's still okay. I'm not okay, Ida, I'm not okay. You're definitely not okay. I have said, I've said this for a while, that we are on a bad version of our Tabat, right? This is the good traveler, okay? If I gotta do MS Paint again, I'll do it again. Good sibling, bad, or good sibling, good traveler on this Tabat. Bad sibling, bad traveler on this Tabat, right? Good sibling, good traveler came to this Tevat where our bad sibling and bad traveler are. Good sibling gets locked away. Bad traveler is going through, you know, whatever. Ermansil has info on her sibling because it has info on her bad sibling, not our good sibling. Our good sibling is still locked away. What if the sinner is bad traveler? Right? Like, what if the sinner is Bad Traveler and Bad Sibling is the princess of the Abyss Order? 
Don't we still need to go to the Statue of the Seven? Why are we back here? I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. Was it though? Was it? For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a Statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. You, you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps mm -hmm. it might be just as effective. That sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist, I don't know what happened down there. I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I, I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> you do. I, we did say that. He's not wrong. Another dose of medicine is administered to the hilly churl. Okay. Kari uh, Bear. Kari Bear. Hello? Papa? What? Kari Bear's awake and can speak and oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, it worked. It worked. It worked. Why can't we just do this to every Hilly Churl then? Kari Bear. Oh, my goodness, it worked. It's a miracle. Oh, oh, Kari Bear, my dear son. I cannot believe this. Like, legitimately, like, seriously, this isn't like, no, I'm not talking about the dialogue over here. I'm talking about me. What? What just happened? How is that possible? I'm shocked, stunned. You see, it worked. Kari Bear can speak again. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Where's Mama? Do you, I, Mama is uh, Cory Bear. Look at me. Do you know who I am? Do you? Of course. You're Papa. <laughs> it is a talking <laughs> hilly churl. Salvation, sweet salvation. Yes, yes. This is this is what this feeling is. Oh man, what is going on? I had no hope. I thought we were just playing along for his sake. But uh, 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 we weren't. Chef, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. How's your day going? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. How, how do you feel, Kari Bear? Uh, are you fully awake now? Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was hiding in a little room. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. What? Okay. Uh, wait. Wait, what? Yeah, are you just now noticing? Yeah, your feet are a little bit weird there. Uh, oh, God. Body. He's going to freak out. What happened to me? No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Is this me? Uh, calm down. It's all right. It's all right. Take a breath. Take a breath. Okay. All right. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Papa. What's happened to me? It's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, how would you even explain that? Like, how would you even start to explain that? Don't panic, son. It's just... While you were sleeping, we we went into a fairy tale world. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to call it, a fairy tale world? There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, but, but... Do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. Right. You'll just have to be a hilly troll the rest of your life. No problem. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I dead? I, I, I don't know. No, 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 no. Of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you... You still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Yeah, yeah, really, really, yes. Yes, really. You've only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Things aren't going to get better. Things aren't going to get better. Oh, oh, and um, you have to promise me something. 
Carrie Bear just woke up and you're asking him for things already? Never take off your mask. Ooh. Ooh. I want to see what's under the mask. I want to see. I want to see. Understand. Why? Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Why is that so important? Okay, Papa. I won't. I promise. Why is that important? Why is it so important for them to keep the mask on, no matter what? What's under the mask? Father and son talk for a long while. I, I, I didn't get to read that fast enough. that day have I been so glad as I am now. Yeah. I can't believe this is really happening. It's unbelievable. I knew that placing my hope in the seven was a waste of time. I, I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever... Offer redemption. But what if, what if, what if though? What if it was like the actual God of Wisdom? What if it was actually Nahida that did something? He just doesn't realize it. He just thinks because we found this place that did some kind of thing to him, he thinks that maybe that's what did it. When what if, like, while we were gone, Nahida was like helping us out the whole time? But he thinks in his mind, he doesn't think so. Because he's just angry. But the god we saw in that cave. Oh, now, that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. I don't think that was a god there, bro. That wondrous power. It was truly enchanting. I, <laughs> surely that, that must have been the reason I bowed down. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they, uh, um, do something to show their devotion? Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> but surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. But Ida, that was not a god. That was a sinner. A sinner? Don't be absurd. You He said you don't know said. a single thing about it. Him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? Look, don't you start arguing with me, bro! Don't you start arguing with me! I've done everything that you have asked me to. I have gone and got you stupid freaking flowers for your stupid red pills to help your stupid hilly churl son out, okay? And I'm just telling you what I saw when I was down there and what it told me. Don't you look at me that way, okay? Look! Paimon, if Paimon was here, she'd be yelling at you. Even though I still don't know where she is, I'm raging at you now. Like you, now you've done made me angry. You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never. He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, preposterous! Just go away. I'm done helping you, man. I'm done. I've done everything that I did for you. You've done. I've done. I'm done. Go away, man. Go away. Dude, I don't. I like seriously. Not even a thank you. Not even a thank you. Can't even give us a thank you. No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will. You cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with. Or without you. Bye bye. See you later. Fine. Go ahead. Got my face. Tired of looking at you. <laughs> Ida's experience has deeply affected him. Not that he was particularly stable to begin with, but this religious fervor is something else. He's a nutcase. I guess I better catch up with him anyway. There are monsters everywhere, and I can't stand by and let him fall into there. No, let him go! Let him go! Let him go! We need to go looking for Paimon. We need to be going to look for, for Dane. He has Carrie Berry out, or Carrie Berry back, or whatever you want. Whatever. Whatever. Let him go! Let him go. No. Impossible. What happened? Where did he go? 
It was massive. It's gone, but it was right here. Where did it go? And who took it? What in God's name? The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared too. What was it? All an illusion. No, I saw it too. That seems unlikely. We couldn't have both seen the exact same illusion. Where did it go? Who took it? That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. Yeah, yeah, you're nuts. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and, and certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I, I do believe that someday in the future, we shall see it again. You're turning into a zealot. Let's just get back. No, I want to. I want to let him know. I, I want to be honest and be like, dude, you you have lost your mind. Could he really have been a sinner and not a god? Why does it have "sinner" in quotation marks? Like, quote unquote, sinner? You take Ida, who seems to be in a chance, back to the small house. We'll just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Is Carrie Bear still there? Kari Bear? Where has he gone? Oh my god, now we gotta go look for this silly churl? Did it go down into the cavern too? Ugh. He's not in here. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe someone else came by and found him? Maybe? Was it Dane? What if Dane. <gasps> no. What if Dane showed back up and murdered him? No. No, it can't have been that. There's. There's no sign of a break-in, and, and no sign of anyone having been here. Maybe he ran off, but why? This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer in his current state that he'd... Well, like I said, what if, what if Dane, sh Dane and Paimon showed back up and then they murdered him and then they ran off, they ran off and then they went chasing him. We don't know. Then we have to go find him. There's no time to lose. Move your butt. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The the box is open. This was the one with the mirror in it, right? Yeah, the broken one, right? Oh, no. Did he? Oh, he stole the mirror. The broken mirror that was in it. <gasps> okay. It's there. The mirror, it's broken. What do you mean it's broken? It was broken before. It was broken when we opened it the first time, when I saw it the first time. It's been broken. Hasn't the mirror broken this whole time? That's what I said. What does the broken mirror mean? I don't know. We're not, we don't do this symbolism allegory stuff here. He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. But it was broken. Uh, if he'd just done as he was told. Oh, good Lord. We have to find him. Oh, good Lord. Children, I swear. Man, can't listen to anything. All right, what does this clue say? It's his scarf. He dropped it. Okay. Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on. Okay, let's go. Still looking for this hilly churl. Carrie Bear. Carrie Bear, where are you? Carrie Bear. Uh, Carrie Bear, where are you? Now I sound like Ida here. All crazy and nuts. Oh, I see people. People, there's people. Hey, people, do you guys see a hilly troll running around here? Curses. Forest rangers. It's okay, Ida. I will talk to them. You just calm down. Hey, who are What's you? Up? Hi. We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? I'm looking for a hilly troll. Have you seen him? Have you seen a uh, hilly troll? A, a hilly troll should have uh, come past this way. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. No need to be rude, lady. Okay, forest ranger. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? Okay, that doesn't that didn't help anything though. Okay, you just getting louder did not make the situation any better. Hey, whoa. Look, sir, there's no need to get so worked up. There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? 
We see plenty of them out here. They murdered him, didn't they? Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. They murdered Carrie Bear. You. You. Oh, no. Forest Ranger scum. You, you spawn of the seven are all the same. Oh, Lord. I have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear. Oh, no, this is bad. You. You're raving mad. You got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers. Uh, he is a nutcase. Curse you all, forest rangers. Man, he just hates everything and everybody. Stop it, Ida. Stop with the forest rangers and I will have to make you. <gasps> Ooh, we're going to threaten Ida. Both sides calm down for now thanks to your urging. Yeah, chill out, dude. Calm yourself. I don't get it. Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. Is he going to tell them that it was actually his son? You. He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? Oh, no. Did they really? Did they really? So tell me. We don't know. Forest Rangers. Did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Jeez. You're really not going to let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, use the toilet. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. Oh! So I left it alone. It could have been Carrie Bear. Let's go! Yes! Wonderful. Let's go! <laughs> Wonderful. Let's, let's, let's go. go. Uh, we have to find him. Are you going to apologize to the nice forest rangers or no? You're going to apologize? Are you going to apologize? No, Wait, we're just going to run away. Anything? Not even a thanks for the info. Goodbye. See, that's what I've been saying this whole time. He hasn't thanked me for nothing yet. Carrie Bear. Carrie Bear, are you okay? It's okay. Are you all right? Dude, do we get to see Carrie Bear with the mask off? Does he still have the mask off? Carrie Bear. Kari Bear, Kari Bear, however you pronounce it, found you. Kari Bear, stop. It's me. It, it's Papa. But how do we know he's not wearing the scarf? Whatever you saw, it, it was... How do we know? How do we know? Trick. We don't know. An illusion. We don't know. We don't know. I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Kari Bear, come back. It's time to go back. How do we know if that's Kari Bear or not? He's not wearing the scarf. We don't know. Okay, you're not saying anything. Kari Bear? You're not saying anything. He's not responding. He's relapsed. He's not responding. Uh-oh, bad news. Bad uh -uh. alarm bells going off. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He, he must be able to hear me. Surely. Alarm, alarm, alarm. Come, Kari Bear. We Doo -doo. have to go home now. Like. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Hold on, something's not right with him. What has that strange power done to him? Five alarm fire! Let's go! Like... Papa? Yep. Kari Bear. Papa, I can't take it. Please, Kari Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all... It's all too much, Papa. <gasps> what is happening? What happened? What happened? What happened? No, what? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> I see. Did I understand now. What happened to Carrie Bear? Did did Carrie Bear like just like? Unalive themselves? Is that what just happened? Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> Taking the mask off killed Kari Bear? That can't be right. If that's the case, how did how did how did how did he see himself? If if he took the mask off in the in the house with the mirror, wouldn't he have died then? We're waking up. Hello. What? Were we asleep? What's going on? What happened? Did I faint? I remember Kari Bear taking this mask off, but then, yeah, I don't know what happened. 
Why are you asking me? I don't know. Ah, traveler, you're awake. Finally, we can rejoice together. Rejoice together? No, no, it's okay. I think it's time for us to leave. We still haven't seen Paimon or Dane. Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. Wait, what? What do you mean you know my true identity? For some time. I only know myself as Traveler. That's what everybody else calls me, Traveler or Professor. What do you mean true identity? Ida, are you okay? No, Ida's crazy. <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. Expected me, me what, what, what? Oh, you mean you thought, I, oh, I see. But I've never met you before. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. Yeah, yeah, honorary knight of Favonius, you know, first sage of Buer, you know, the uh, lead detective in Leoway, took down a shogun. I still haven't come up with a fancy name for that one yet, but I will. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. <laughs> you are a liar! I is the name of a servant I once had. <laughs> you are a lying bastard! You liar! My real name is Clotar. 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 Clotar Alberic. What? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No. No, 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 so you're trying to tell me that this guy is the... Wait, 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 are you Kaya's dad? Shut up. Wait, what if Kaya was the hilly churl? Wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That can't be right. So is this guy the one that created the abyss? Because Kaya's descendants are the ones that created the, the abyss, right? And now, what, what, what if Kaya was a hilly churl? How long ago was this? Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. How would, that can't, that can't be right. That can't be right. What century are we in? What year is it? Oh, I have so many questions now. Can't be, can't be, can't be, can't be. You're lying, okay? You've already lied to me once, I don't believe you. You saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us, Sinner. Yes. It was one and the same. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. I didn't see clearly. I never see anything clearly. What happened to Kari Bear? That is no business of yours. Dude, I don't like you. A sinner. Yes. <sighs> Salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Uh, but we don't know who the sinner is. Karabair did not deserve his fate, but now... Do we ever get to find out? It's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Okay. Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become... Become what? The loom of fate. Wait, what? So this hilly churl is what we've been looking for? No. What have we been looking for? Hold on. Can I go back? Hold on. My mind's racing. Can I go back and rewind? We, that's what we've been looking for. That's what we've been looking for. That's what we've been looking for. There's that term again, the Luma Faint. You're right about this being from the Abyss, but the Abyss is sinister and dangerous. Huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sinister. Dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the Abyss. How ridiculous. What? 
Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I deny the ability? What is wrong with you, dude? I, I... We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. Who are you talking to? Is there like an imaginary person behind me or something? To us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. I don't have any control over nothing. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. <sighs> Uh, what the hell are you talking about? But what did you bring us instead? Uh, Archons, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Princess of Conria. Princess? Princess? Wait, wait. I think you're... Dude, this guy has just gone delusional. I, 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 I I'm not a princess. I'm a prince, pr princess. Princess of Conria? Wait, what? Hold on. What is he talking about? Why did he just call me? Princess! Oh, you're speaking. <sighs> What's going on? Wait, what? <laughs> Shut up! Traveler! Traveler! Wait, 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 <laughs> Time out! No! Time out! You're awake! Oh, shut up, you two! No, I... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. Wait a second. Thanks. So... That whole thing was like, we were in our sister's body. So this is what, wait, wait, wait. So this is how the sister found, wait. So this is how the sibling found out about the abyss. That doesn't make any sense. How does that right? How does that work? Princess of Conria. Wait, wait, wait. What if everything was us until that last little bit? And then we were our sister, right? Like everything. No, that can't be right. <sighs> I'm confusion. Confusion! So we were living me the entire time during that whole. So that's why we never saw Paimon. That's why we never saw Paimon. We were in our sister's body, like her memories. How did we how did we even access that though? That's why Paimon wasn't there. We weren't we weren't traveler at all. We were inside like our sister's memories. We just saw ourselves as traveler and thought it was us when it's actually our sibling. How did we access our sibling's memories though? What if our sibling wanted us to see those memories? Okay, my brain's hurting. <laughs> my brain's hurting right now. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say right now. I, I, I just don't have any words. What happened while you were unconscious? Uh, I don't know how to explain. I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. The abyss tampered with the ley lines, okay. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. So we're near a ley what line. What did you witness? So we're in, we're near a ley line, right? But the ley lines are connected to Ermansoul. Did Ermansoul want me to see that? The founder of the Abyss Order, Albrick. What happened to him? It has to be right. Ermansoul had to be the one to show me that if they were coming from the ley lines. But then they, but the, they said that they tampered with them. So maybe it wasn't the real memories. You mean Clotar Alberich? That guy! After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, 
Neither his faith nor the abyss he worshipped could save him. Okay. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. He is, oh, where is he now? Where is he now? And despite that, my sister ultimately sided with him, didn't she? You could say that. She wouldn't be the Abyss Order's princess otherwise. Okay. Are you alright? No! Trouble look on your face. Uh, what happened? I'm not okay. I am not okay. I am not okay. I am not okay. I am not okay. I have a story to tell you. Hmm. You're worse than days leave deep into thought. <laughs> so you saw her memories from centuries ago. From centuries? Your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Yes, we saw her memories. My, my question is, is she like, how, how did something decided for us to see this memory? What was the something that decided for us to see this memory? Was it our sibling? Was it Ermansol? Like what made the, that decision? Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. Mm -hmm. It did. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert. Well, and what happened to him? But we don't know what happened to him. He took his mask off. We don't know. And yet your sister never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder, was that the moment that she decided to go down this path? Was this before or after she's been hanging out with you, dude? What kind of an influence were you on my sister, bro? Like, why would she run off on you? Like, where were you in that whole situation if this was her memories? Where were you? You, are you, you, nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be seen. Like, what, what did you do to drive our sister away from you? First of all, I also wish that I could know, was this, what she thought about all this? Or what? I, where were you? Where was Dane? But one thing is clear, this was not a happy memory. Not a happy memory. But yet, she's still there. That doesn't make any sense. If it wasn't a happy memory and she's not happy, then why would she even do it? Indeed. Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This was where it all began. I want to know how you two got separated in the first place. What did you do to drive her away? Was she, was she, did, she, did she friend zone you? Is that what it was? Did she put you in the friend zone and you couldn't handle it and you just got pushy and obsessive and stalkery and she said, I got to get out of here. He's, you know, restraining order on Dane's leave. What happened? I almost forgot. There's something I need to check. What is it? I need to know what lies buried in the field. Field? What does that have to do with anything? You mean here? Well, let's start digging and see. Okay, what's in the field? Mushrooms? After some time, you and Daysleep discover what is buried in the field. What is you down here? You took the duke out of Paimon! <laughs> did, did you rebury them yet? Ah, you scared the duke out of Paimon! We're done, you can open your eyes now. <laughs> a male and female skeleton, buried together. Male and a female? Male and a female? Interestingly, the DNA. male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. That would be Carrot Bear. That would be Carrot Bear, right? Silk scarf, Carrot Bear. Okay. Scared the Duke out of Paimon. Who's the female, though? But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? I think the bones of the man belong to... <gasps> Shut up. How's that case? He's immortal. What? That's impossible. He's immortal. He can't die. He's not dead. Unless... Clotar Albury finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Wait, what? Perhaps he did. Mm. Oh, so God. This is far too many questions. I need time to think. Brain. And to search my yeah. memories for some missing pieces. 
Me, me too. Me too, Dane. Me too. I need time to think too, because my brain has literally turned nuclear. We should part ways here. We only got to see you for a second. We only got to see you for a second. Don't we still owe you a drink? We only got to see Dane for literally like two minutes. No, I don't want to leave Dane. I'm telling you right now, we better get another Dane's quest in like four, 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 five. Huh? You're just going to leave? Why? You could come with us, you know? Yeah, what are you going to do? It's better that we split up for now. I think that he might have seen you. Who? He? Who? Quotation marks. Are you talking about the sinner? Who is he? Who is he? The sinner maybe saw us? Who's he? You mean the voice I heard inside my head. You're talking about the sinner. You're talking about the sinner. Wait, which voice? Is it from the one from the previous fact where the, the, the lady was talking to us? Or are you talking about the, the other voice that was said it was the sinner? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity. But I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will tell you when we next meet. So, Kaya is a descendant of the person that founded the Abyss Order. And our sibling is the princess of the Abyss Order. Does that make Kaya the prince, the like actual prince of the Abyss Order? Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like in the... Are they going to try and marry our sibling to Kaya? Right? Like, what if that happens? What if that happens? Because technically, Kaya would be the prince of the Abyss Order if we're going down the hierarchy here. He would be technically the prince if he's a descendant of the person that founded the Abyss Order. And if our sister is the princess, we all know what princes and princesses do. They get married and become king and queen, right? Like, we know this, right? We Right? That's right, right? They're not related in any way. What if they are related? What if they're like distant cousins or something? Oh, well. But what do you mean that he saw the traveler? How is that possible? I don't know how anything is possible, Paimon. It was just a memory. It all happened hundreds of years in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? A sinner. Whatever that means. All right. Let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. I don't want to leave it there. I don't want to leave it there. I don't want to leave it. And you just walk off like it's nothing. You're just like so casual and so calm about this. That's all it is. You don't want your head's not exploding too, Dane. There goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, Paimon, one more thing. Where were you? Like, I know we were in our siblings' memories or whatever. That's... Oh, dude. What is it? I missed you. Oh. Now it comes back to make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Paimon, we did miss you. That was the longest we've ever gone without Paimon. The longest. Ah. Oh, I did. That was a lot of effort by myself, Paimon. Huh? Are we hugging Paimon? Are we head? Are we like headbutting? Eskimo kissing? Bro, I can't even with this game, dude. I can't even with this game. I don't know what to think anymore. That was amazing, though. That was fan flipping tastic. These are the quests that I love. These are the ones that I absolutely love. Just getting into like the mystery of what actually happened and what is going on and who. Everybody seems connected in some which way too. And that's so good. Ah, uh, Fontaine's gonna be nuts. And I cannot wait for Fontaine. I cannot wait for Fontaine. Cannot wait. <laughs>